morning, everyone. I hope everyone can see my, my screen. Uh, yes, I'm... we see. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to start. So uh, this morning, thank you for attending. And uh, I'm going to talk about Katia Engineering Excellence. And I'm going to provide you with an introduction. This is a rather special offering dedicated to the needs of the small and medium business. So if we just start by thinking about some of the, the challenges in the mid market. Um, we've got, I mean, and all our customers tell this, we've got increasing complexity of products, of variants, and on the processes used to create those products, and indeed on the, the ecosystem, the, the often global ecosystem required to develop them. Um, again, our customers are telling us about how customers and OEMs are becoming more demanding in terms of speed, they're demanding reductions in time, and they're demanding reductions in price. And there is a context of global competition, a lot of new entrants in new geographies, and again, driving that competitive world requiring our, our customers to uh, become more lean to be able to address and compete in this new world. So when we said, what do you need? What, what, what do, what do uh, engineering companies in the middle market need to be able to, um, uh, to address those challenging trends? So first of all, and at the core function. People need a tool set that's really, they can be confident in, that can create and complete any current or future product. Um, they need to be productive and get the job done faster than before. They need to have the confidence that they can meet the demands of their ultimate customer or their OEM and deliver a result that really leverages their differentiation and their know-how. Uh, they need to be able to collaborate because it's no longer working in a silo, doing a job on your own. Customers are working with, with many other collaborators, sometimes in the same company, sometimes in different companies. And they need simplicity because more and more people need access to information by not just the specialist engineers, but for everyone. Uh, often we found that people were being held up in their day-to-day -day job by requests for data. And it's important to let engineers become engineers again, let them focus their intelligence, their, their training on doing the job that they can do best. So in our answer to this leads as DASL system, we have created what we call the 3D experience platform. 3D experience platform, it's a business platform where all of the stakeholders of the project can be connected and all the data is stored in one place in a single source. And within the platform, you can collaborate uh, among, with all your different design products, whatever your discipline and whatever your job role. And all the solutions from DASO Systems are connected to this platform. And what you see here is the platform compass, which is four quadrants. And each quadrant, there are applications, for example, for social and collaborative applications, information intelligence, and so on. And we're going to be talking today about the quadrant which contains 3D modeling. And that's the, uh, where Katia falls in, uh, in the west quadrant of the compass. So in order to uh, just give you an initial flavor for what we're going to talk about, I'd like to share with you a, a short video. It's a little two-minute video. Uh, it's got some upbeat, upbeat music, so uh, you'll, you won't have to listen to me for two minutes. And it will give you just a visual feel for the sort of things we're going to be talking about. So Anne, if I could ask you to play the video, please.
Okay, so that, 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 that was an interesting video and it gives you a little bit of flavor of what we're gonna talk about uh, during this, uh, this webinar. Um, so when we looked at uh, what our customers needed, we came up with, uh, in our engineering excellence offerings and identified 10 key value areas. Um, and that's what I wanna talk about today. I wanna talk about each of those 10 key value areas. You know, for example, the first value is best in class engineering, meaning that Katia, with Katia you can design anything you need. Uh, another value is about optimizing the manufacturing uh, process and another about supporting a productive user experience. So I won't go through each of these now, but each one of these 10 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address uh, during the remainder of the webinar. Uh, I'll talk about each of them and in some cases I'll illustrate them with a, with a short video or a short, or a short demo. So let's begin with number one. And this really is really a key point for Katia, which is that you can design and be confident that you can design anything you want without limits. With Katia, you've got enormous accuracy. You're at the micrometer level, and when you're designing your product, you can guarantee the highest quality for all design parts, regardless of their complexity. And whether you combine very complex geometric features and operations to get a final, uh, very precise uh, model, or for example, you want to get the best tooling surfaces for manufacturing, uh, then Katia's geometrical modeler, which is best in class, maximizes the accuracy. And the second point is robustness. The robustness of the geometric modeler is, is critical when uh, you're, you need stability during updates, such as when making design modifications, and it supports the ability to create different design iterations. And it's very easy to explore and review concepts and ideas and to test them directly and immediately in 3D. And finally, very high performance. If you work even on extremely heavy models, those with thousands of features or thousands of parts, uh, the Katia Geometric Modeler is able to manage those complex models with superior quality and superior performance. So, as I say, in summary with Katia, you can always be confident that you'll get the job done. Let's talk about design for manufacturing. And the point here is to be able to cover all the different types of parts that you want to create. And you see here a list of examples like machined, plastic, sheet metal parts, cast and forged parts, 3D printed parts. Um, and whatever the manufacturing process, you can take the manufacturing constraints and requirements into account right from the beginning. And in most cases, that's Katia providing a specific application tailored to the type of part you want to create or a specific function. So for example, for plastic parts, you get a specific app for designing and a specific app for simulation. For cast and forged parts, you get a list of dedicated functions inside part design. Or in the case of sheet metal, you get specialized applications for that specific design process. And then when your design is done, you're able to validate the manufacturability using built-in anal analysis tools. So for example, when you create a plastic part, you get a plastic injection simulation wall thickness analysis, draft analysis, etc. And also you can create company specific rule based quality checks that can be created and reused according to your needs. They can be applied after the design to ensure that everyone has worked according to the, the standards and to ensure everything is compliant. And in all of this, of course, you're connected to the 3D experience platform. So you get full data associativity from design through to manufacturing. Consider, for example, another a plastic part where the core and cavity separation is, is a key point when you're creating the mold. And it's created directly on the data of the plastic part. And it can be reused afterwards to create the design and the associative design of the mold. And for sheet metal, you can create the bend order sequence and process all directly from the designed part. And today, 3D is commonly used in the design process, but in many cases, 2D still remains the master reference for product definition. And many companies we've spoken to are still suffering from errors and delays because as we know, 2D inherently has limitations on what can be shown. So now with Katia 3D Experience, you can completely define a part and assembly with tolerances and annotations directly in 3D, making the definition more accurate and accelerating the development and the design process. I'll just activate this little, little GIF. And uh, this Katia 3D Master approach offers one single full 3D definition of a product for manufacturing. You can create dimensions and tolerances on 3D geometry, respecting requirements, specs, and standards. 
And there's also a standard a tolerancing advisor that helps you create consistent dimensioning of the product and prevents you from making unwanted mistakes. The advisor proposes the option corresponding to the context of the selection and helps you create the rest of the dimensional definitions. It's also, of course, possible, as it has to be, to create 2D drawings on demand, but they're based on the 3D definition. This makes the 3D the master, and you have a derived representation or 2D drawing. You also have direct access to multiple views of the annotated 3D parts that are directly updated when annotations are modified. And 3D Experience Katea shape design allows the users to create a high quality and complex mechanical shapes with a robust feature-based approach. Dedicated functions simplify, they accelerate, and allow you to check surface designs and increase your efficiency on repetitive and tedious manual tasks. You can collect, check the validity and repair advanced imported surfaces for guaranteed trouble-free downstream use, such as manufacturing or tooling design, by improving the topology and the geometry. You can reuse surfaces, whatever other quality, thanks to tolerant modeling capabilities. And the geometrical modeler is able to manage operations and curves and surfaces, even if they have small geometrical gaps and defects. The smoothing capabilities and the tolerant laydown options means that designers can perform their usual tasks while Katia compensates for the gaps and delivers high end quality surfaces. You can develop and morph parametric surfaces and the CATIA generative shape design application speeds up the design process with a clear and intuitive user interface, whether natural manipulation and contextual interactions. So let's talk about improving the quality of the product. Um, I'll just start the video and in the modeling phase, a lack of quality can impact many areas, such as you can have longer updates of your, of your products, you can have uh, longer product cycles, and it means that you probably can have less durations when you're working on developing the product. And also, this shows up in downstream processes where the quality level impacts and affects computation time in things like mesh generation or NC toolpath generation. So shape quality is really important, has a big impact on process, and has to be taken into account. With 3D Experience Katia, you can create freeform shapes with advanced quality analysis tools to reach high-end quality shapes and to match your aesthetical and your manufacturing requirements. And by providing an advanced surfacing tool set, such as local surface refinement, surface simplification, and global deformation, the designers are able to reach new heights in surface modeling. Now, Katia Shape Optimizer is a breakthrough technology to compute, to update, and to optimize by morphing shapes to compensate for product deformation in the manufacturing process. It provides a unique flexibility and productivity to bring virtual definition close to real life definition, working from simulation computations or digitized results. And the morphing of complex shapes while maintaining their original quality characteristics means faster optimization in the manufacturing process by compensating for forming definition <clears throat> and even in taking into account product representation in operation conditions whether mechanical thermal or fluidic so let's talk a little bit now about the concept of capture and reuse Thanks to what we call knowledgeware applications in Katia, you can do different things to capture and reuse your best practices and to ease your work, make your life easier. And the first big value is when you get a lot of repetitive tasks to be done. So let's say it's some kind of simple task and you do it dozens or maybe even hundreds of times during the day. And you'd like to have some script capability to improve or automate that task. Well, in Katia, you get a very simple and a very lean knowledgeware language that allows you to automate that kind of repetitive task. You can create templates to store the intelligence and expertise of your company inside a specific 3D model. And that can be re reused by other people in different contexts. So thanks to this knowledge where, as well as easing your repetitive tasks, you store and reuse complex parts and products that were created by experts. 
And then you create some specific rules to be sure that all the products you design are compliant with the standard rules of your company. Now, carry over. Most of the time, we don't create a new product coming from a blank page. So it's important to be able to do carry over easily from previous designs. Uh, and a, an example of 3D experience is to reuse Katia V5 data. And so you're able to work with people on the same project, with some people on Katia V5 and some people on 3D experience Katia. And I'll put on a short video to show you that. So what we're showing is we have one person working on Katia V5, designing the crankshaft and creating all the geometry. And then another using 3D Experience Katia, you can just insert the Katia V5 definition into 3D Experience Katia. You want to design around this part and use this part as context, then a new 3D Experience part is created using the V5 crankshaft in context. We can even create some links between the V5 data and the new parts. You can see what comes from V5 and what comes from 3D Experience. And now if the first person is doing some modifications on the part, you just have to insert the new version of this product coming from V5 into 3D Experience. And because links were created, everything's updated according to the new definition and the new size of the part from V5. So it's very easy to work in parallel uh, with some people using V5 and some people using 3D Experience Katia. Rid of this video, sorry about that. Um, okay, so the next thing is how do we interact efficiently with the, the ecosystem and use and modify any kind of CAD data? And this is really, really, really a lovely function. And I'll show you another short video to illustrate it. Um, so we get geometry, it may have come from step, it may have come from another system, but we can still interact with it. And if you look, we can pull and move the holes. We can remove the fillets, even though it's just dumb geometry. And we can manipulate it completely and reshape it completely. And here, we're going to just put a completely new pocket. So again, with that capability, we have the ability to take any part from anywhere and use direct manipulation to change it to what we need. Now, in the design phase, it's very important for product engineers and designers to simulate their product in motion with things like kinematics and to validate their design to limit the number of physical prototypes, the prototypes that they have to build, make things right first time. And this can be done by defining several kinematic scenarios to cover and check all the expected situations. And while testing the assembly in motion, the design can also be checked from a structural point of view with linear static simulation to easily guide design modifications. Basic mechanisms can be combined to create more sophisticated simulations and to avoid confusion when you're working in a large mm -hmm. assembly. And you can quickly validate designs and concepts at, a, at an early stage with intuitive simulation tools and understand the structural behavior of your, of your product early in the design process with linear static analysis. Um, let me just start this little video which will, again, illustrate some of these uh, concepts. So the, the mechanism simulation design extension enables product engineers and designers to simulate product in motion with kinematics and to validate the structural strength. And connections created during assembly design phase can be re reused in kinematic mechanisms. And we can combine. Uh, functional checks and validation can be carried out, and intermittent context and gravity can be taken into consideration for a realistic animation. And when you test it in motion, the design can be checked from a structural point of view with linear static simulation. And kinematic simulation can be updated automatically to evaluate more design alternatives efficiently as you change your design. No. So the next important point is the user experience. And this is a big differentiator for Katia compared to previous versions 
and to other products on the market. It's been improved and has been concentrated on a lot and is very easy to learn and understand as you use it. So we've done a lot to improve the user experience in the way the designer or the user is interacting with the product to make it as simple and as efficient as possible. So let's start uh, a little video here. So you get for all applications, the same user interface with the same elements everywhere. We get the compass where your applications and all your roles are stored, accessible. And you get the search field to retrieve your data with tags. You get different menus to create and store your data. And you get the specification tree. And the action bar. Uh, and in the action bar, we can see that it's, it's very lean, very intuitive, very simple. And when you're a new user, you'll find all you need very easily with this user interface. So let's talk about collaboration. And you know, with 3D experience, Katia, you're not file-based anymore. So you benefit from all the functions of the database platform. First, you're always able to access and share the latest version of your data. And any people connected to the platform are sure to get the latest updated version of the data. You don't need to ask different people, okay, where's, where's the latest version of the file you created yesterday? Everyone's sharing the same level of information, the latest one, as long as it's connected to the platform. Now, what's also important is that you're able to work in parallel, working with the file system when someone has opened the product. All the others have to wait until you've finished and you finish your job before they can do any modifications. Thanks to the platform, you can work in parallel so that many people can open the same product and work on the same product with security, and they can save their different modifications at the same time. I'm going to show you some examples of that in a few minutes. It's also a protected uh, platform with good security rules, so you can give different people in the project different rights, whether they're a reviewer, whether they're a provider or an author. Uh, and for example, they can only see the parts they need for their work but not the overall product, if, for example, that's, com that's confidential. They can have read rights on some parts and modification and editing rights on other parts. It's very easy to manage on the platform, and it's also very easy to integrate people who are external to your project, thanks to the user and license management with the platform. So let's put on a video and see a few examples of that. In the past, for example, we have two different users, in this example, uh, two different sessions, one on the left, one on the right, and these people are connected to the same data. And they've opened and edit, are editing the same data, and they're doing two different modifications. One will modify the shape of the wheel, and the other will modify the position of the wheel. So it will change the overall shape of the belt. These two people are working on the same product at the same time, changing two different characteristics of the product. And now, that the, when the modifications are done, they will be able to refresh their session with the modifications done by the other user. So for these users, the yellow is showing that the guy on the right has changed the position of the pulley and has changed the shape of the belt. And the guy on the right, it says that the definition of the pulley has changed because of the modification. So it's easy to refresh the session with the modifications done by the other user. They're working parallel and at the same time on the same product, both changing different characteristics of the product. We can also do a co-review, cool and you see the, these people are reviewing some 3D data, but the guy on the left doesn't have the rights to see, and we just, uh, I, I was a bit too slow with that, uh, but the guy on the left didn't have the rights to see the data, uh, only see the data that he was entitled to see. So for example, if you're working with a, a supplier and you don't want him to see all of your product, you can protect that and only give him access to the data that he needs to see. So let's talk a little bit about installation and maintenance of the product. Uh, with 3D Experience Katia, it can be cloud-based. It's very easy to reduce the complexity of all the IT systems for improved flexibility and improved efficiency. So for example, on the cloud, you can deploy Katia extremely easily. A company designated administrator declares the system and the email addresses of your new users. And in a few clicks, he gets the licenses, 
and then the new root user will receive an email with a link to click on. And this link, you can see a client will be installed in a few minutes, and in less than half an hour, a user is able to connect to the server and start collaborating with Katia on data that was created from the rest of the team. But it's very, very easy. It's also very easy to install new applications or to create new data storage space where users will collaborate. When you need to increase storage, for example, for a new project or a new user, this can be done from the web interface very easily. If you choose to work in the cloud, everything is maintained and supported by DASO systems. So there's no need to take care of the hardware or the server IT infrastructure. You get 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year operation and support. There's a great flexibility. You can either choose to add some users for a short time or remove users depending on the different projects you have. So you can scale up. Very easy to do that when you're operating on the cloud. So that's my sort of run through of the various values. What I'd like to do now is hand over to Israel Flores, uh, who's a Katia sales manager, and, and Israel will discuss some of the practical aspects of the packaging uh, of the, this, this offer. Israel, can I hand over to you? Yeah, thank you, Paul. I appreciate uh, all of you to join this, uh, this call. Uh, we would like to discuss a little bit about the different packages that we have uh, for this uh, solution. And in fact, um, we are very pleased to announce that we have uh, some new packages that are going to be providing the CATIA engineering excellence um, in, in these three different configurations. Um, we started with this uh, CAT EX, uh, which basically would become the entry point uh, for our, uh, our CATIA engineering excellence for the uh, 3D experience platform. Um, then followed by the CAT MEX, which again provide you the CATIA mechanical engineering excellence. In this case, you will have some more mechanical type of capabilities uh, within this package. And then moving forward, we will have the CATIA mechanical and shape engineering excellence, which again gives you tremendous amount of value, not only from the mechanical components, but many of the uh, capabilities that, that Paul mentioned in context to shape and surfaces, but we're also including all other components like 3D Master and simulation designer there. So we'll give you a very rich set of capabilities uh, for this type of uh, packages and solutions. Next. Okay. Um, so one quick uh, point that we also wanted to discuss to you is that, of course, we have uh, provided to you some capabilities in the CATIA version 5 uh, solution that is on premise. And uh, many of you have taken a, a great deal of advantage of uh, these solutions in CATIA version 5. And one of the key areas that I wanted to bring to your attention is this entry point that we have called CAT EE, CATIA Engineering Excellence, uh, that is the entry point for you. Then if we move into the 3D experience, as I was mentioning before, we have these different packages from the entry point of uh, CAT EX, uh, the CAT MEX giving you the mechanical capabilities and then the mechanical capabilities with shape uh, that gave you the CAT MSX. Uh, but also you will see that these capabilities are also available on the cloud. So many of you might want to take uh, advantage of, of that capability since uh, you don't have to have any installation. Yet. Basically that solution comes um, on the cloud. So if you would like to take advantage of that, that, that will be a, a great capability for you with uh, all the mechanical and shape in the Academy X dash OC, or if you want to stay mostly in the mechanical area, then you will look into the CAT MEX dash OC. And of course, we have this great product for the entry level, the CAT uh, EX. So, so thank you very much for having participated in this webinar.